Out of all of the categories of fake videos on YouTube, whether it's fake restorations, fake primitive building or fake turtle barnacle removal, one of the strangest has to be the dry place primitive fishing genre. Since I go fishing myself and I often watch fishing videos, I started to get these videos cropping up in my recommended feed. There are now hundreds of these channels, each uploading videos daily and often even multiple times a day. Some of these videos have close to 100 million views, bringing in hundreds of thousands of dollars in ad revenue. If you're not familiar with this genre, the scenario goes something like this. It usually begins with the camera pointed at a patch of mud on a riverbank. Dramatic music starts playing, the mud begins to move and then a fish head pops out. Quite how the cameraman knew exactly where to point the camera and exactly when the fish was going to appear isn't explained. Then a man in the background looks shocked and runs towards the mud, gasping and saying ooh big fish, as if he's never seen a fish before in his life. He then starts digging frantically in the mud, pretending to be fighting to pull the fish from the ground, as the dramatic music builds to a crescendo. If it wasn't clear enough, these types of videos are fake. The fish are either bought from fish farms or taken from the wild, and then buried alive in the mud by the same people who then pretend to find them later. I assumed that viewers knew they were fake too and were just watching them for entertainment value. But reading the comments under the videos, what amazed me is that most people actually thought these videos were real. There were a few people calling out the fakery resulting in comments like this one. Poor fish, torturing them for YouTube, basically burying them alive. Imagine someone doing that to you, you could at least kill them first. But these comments are largely drowned out by the thousands of positive ones. The first of these types of videos tended to use catfish. Certain species of catfish are unique in that they can survive for a limited time out of the water, essentially breathing through their skin. But there was a problem with this. The species of catfish that can survive out of the water don't grow very big, and big fish are better for thumbnails because they get more clicks. So they started to use different species of fish that grow bigger. Most commonly they switched to using fish from the carp family. Mirror carp, common carp and goldfish. These fish can grow a lot bigger so they make for better thumbnails and drive more clicks. The thing is, while a catfish might be able to survive for up to 3 hours out of the water, a carp will barely last 3 minutes before dying. All of the time they're out of the water, they're basically suffocating. So by the time they're dug out of the mud, they're usually dead. How can we tell that the fish are dead? First, they're not even moving when they're dug up. A living carp out of water will be struggling to get back into the water just like a human being held underwater would struggle to get out, because they can't breathe. And there's another way to tell. Here's a carp I caught myself a few years ago, photographed before being returned alive to the water. And here's a roach, a tench, a perch, a pike, and a rod. If we look at these photos side by side, all of the fish have one thing in common. Their eyes are all looking down. If we look at a photo of a dead fish, like this grey mullet for example, or this pumpkin seed, the eyes are right in the middle, looking straight forward. Regardless of the species, when living fish are out of the water, they instinctively look down. Thanks to this strange fact, you can tell whether a fish is alive or dead just by looking at a static photo or a video, even when the person in the video is shaking the fish about to try and make it appear alive. The fish that appear in the thumbnails for these videos, and in most of the videos themselves, are looking straight forward. They have dead eyes because they're dead fish. They were either buried alive and died before they could be filmed getting pulled out of the mud, or they were buried dead in the first place. In more recent videos, they've even switched to using saltwater fish taken from the ocean, presumably because they grow even bigger than carp and therefore make for better clickbait. I've seen them using all sorts of sea fish, from conger eels to rays and even a small shark. 
They even reuse the same fish across multiple videos and even across different channels, burying it and digging it up over and over again. So the videos with carp are fake while the ones with catfish are real? Well, no. Although catfish can survive a short time out of water, they use this ability to travel short distances across land between neighbouring waterways when the ponds or rivers they were living in dry up. They don't burrow into mud. There are species of fish that can survive in mud called the lungfish. In times of drought they burrow into mud and their bodies secrete a mucus which hardens over time into a cocoon to preserve moisture. They can stay alive inside this cocoon for several months until the rain returns. But this isn't the fish we see used in the videos and the six known species of lungfish live in Central Africa, South America and Australia. It isn't found at all in the Indian subcontinent where these videos are mostly produced. If you look at the comments on these videos, you notice that most of the first comments, which appear as soon as the video is uploaded, are posted by other fake fishing channels, suggesting that they're either run by the same content farms, or they appear to be working together, liking and commenting on each other's videos to give them a boost in the algorithm. I've deliberately pixelated anything that could identify specific channels in this video, and just to be clear, I'm not against fishing. I love fishing and have fished myself for decades. But burying fish alive in mud for views is wrong, and the prevalence of fake videos saturating almost every video genre these days means that real content is getting buried while the fake content is getting promoted. The algorithm, intentionally or not, is turning YouTube into a world where everyone's a liar and everything is fake. Always be skeptical and assume it's fake unless presented with evidence to the contrary. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.